All right, Kevin, now you gotta take the cake out of the box. His wife doesn't wanna show her face, so it's okay. Is she embarrassed? No, no, she was in the middle of getting ready. Just, oh, and yeah, you go to yeah. school? Well. Yeah, you look like a young student. <laughs> yeah, I'm a very young student. <laughs> what are you studying? Uh, psychology. Oh boy, well then you see what this is all about. If you're studying psychology, look who you're dealing with, a maniac. <laughs> Now, you know that uh, Paul Newman would not be delivering a cake or popcorn. And That's true. I, Did you bring popcorn? No, no. Well, he was famous for that. You know, he was more famous for his movies. There you go. All right. You just take that little wrapping off. We, we take pride in our, in our product. And the other thing is that uh, Colonel Sanders, I think, well, he wouldn't be here. He'd kick the bucket. And who's the other one? Jimmy Dean, James Dean, right? Yeah. Yeah, his sausage was too big for a lot of reasons. <laughs> Here we go. Too small with the inflation. All right, so now this is the actual cake. Did you? Are you familiar with this at all? No. You never knew. No. Do you know that she ordered this cake? I did, and I forgot all about it. Yeah, because we didn't deliver it on time. And so I called my daughter in California, and I said, I'm going to bring them the cake personally because we our good customer service. Wow. Now you're going to taste it. And where where did you come from? Did you New York, from, from Manhattan. You from New York. Today. Oh yeah, hello. Well, I didn't, I'm not in Wallingford, although I have been, there we go, recording at Synchron Sound. The first bite's a good one, the second bite is the oh wow. Now try the crust. Mm-hmm. That's the killer. Oh, this is the best breakfast I've ever had. Isn't that the best cheesecake you ever had mm -hmm. too, right? Mm -hmm. I know. I'm so proud of it. That's why I'm doing this. And it's, it's and I'll, not dense at all. It's it's light and fluffy. No, yeah, and you know the other thing too. It's a creamy cake. It's not the New York cheesecake usually is all very uh, dry, and you have to drink something mm -hmm. with it. See this, you don't have to do that. No, with. although it would be really good with a cup of espresso. Yeah, well, it would be good with a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> I have a friend who wants to put marijuana in it. We're not going to do that either. <laughs> no, no, I never finished my homework. Uh, no, well, it's, you, you know, you could have the munchies while you have the munchies. Mm -hmm. That's. <laughs> So this is good. We all right. This is incredible. Would you, you want tell you? No, I don't want a piece of it. I don't ever eat cheesecake. Really? <laughs> no, I've, I, I, I'm in a factory all day with it. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> so how about your wife? What are we gonna do? We can just leave her alone? Yeah. All right. Tell her to call Elvis Duran and thank him for the cake. All okay. right. That would be good. And here's a copy of my book, which is "Let a Smile Be Your Umbrella, But Don't Get a Mouthful of Rain," so that you can get familiar with me. Since you're studying psychology. You want to see uh, what a real maniac uh, acts like in an entire life now that I'm an older person. <laughs> well, good. As soon as I finish up my homework. Uh, good. Well, this is... I'll take to reading this. Kevin, this is your homework. <laughs> 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 thank you so much. And God bless you. Well, Great. thank you. All well, right. Thanks for delivering this by hand. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send this to Elvis so he sees that I really did this. So we don't get a bum <laughs> rap on social network. What's your wife's name? Claudine. Claudine, come on and have your cake.